How is Matt Diabella so good at getting us to listen? It's hard to give advice that sticks. What is it about the way that he presents his story and shares his advice that makes us actually stop and think? For those of you unfamiliar, Matthew Bella is a filmmaker who has exploded on this YouTube space, especially in the past year, because of his really compelling and really beautiful videos on minimalism, productivity, personal development. Because of his background making legit documentaries and films, his videos all look perfect. They are all so clean and aesthetic and flow together so well. But Matt Diavella doesn't stand out on this platform just because his visuals are incredible. Even if you take away the pretty visuals. I know it can sound crazy to talk about Matt Diavella without his visual storytelling, but seriously, if you look at the ways that he's packaging his perspectives and sharing his story, there's so much there. It's so interesting. So that's what we're breaking down in today's video. How exactly does Matt Diavella craft his advice to stick? For those of you I haven't met yet, I'm Eric Wen, and on this channel we talk about communication and self-awareness. I want to help you as a creative think about what you say and how you say it so that you can make a better impact. Matt Diavella is not like Gary Vee. Gary Vee has a very loud and obvious speaking style and how he likes to command your attention and curiosity. With Matt's videos, it's a lot more subtle. I had to do a little digging to see the patterns. After watching quite a few of his videos, I started to notice three simple things that Matt Diavella loves prioritizing in each of his videos. The choices are very subtle and very simple, but they really do help us listen just a little more closely than normal. The first choice that stood out to me about Matt Diavella's storytelling was how much he prioritizes building relatability in each of his videos. Because of the nature of his videos where he's giving advice, sharing self-help tips, it'd be really easy for him to present himself more as an educator, as someone who has figured it out and he's giving you the tips so that you can get at his level. But Matt doesn't do that. He writes his scripts and shares his perspectives in a way where we can understand really clearly he's at our level. He's just found some solutions or tips that he's excited to share with us. If you listen to to Charisma on Command's videos, 90% of the time he says you, 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 you. You may have had a scenario in your life where you've met an old friend on the street. This is what you need to avoid doing. And some weird things can escape your mouth. This is what you need to do to be more confident and charismatic. Which is why in this video I'm gonna give you five things that you should never say when flirting. You may have in the past because they're very common. No more after this video. In Matt's videos, he says we and us a lot. So instead of taking action, what do we do? We don't switch careers. We don't start that business. We keep the same haircut for more than a decade. I'm unfortunately speaking from experience. He talks a lot about the struggles that we all have together, getting motivated, staying productive, but he talks about it like he's amongst us, like he understands us. When we have every fact in our phones, every restaurant only a few clicks away, we expect things to happen overnight, not over time. One of the things that he says so much in his videos is, if you're anything like me, if you were anything like me growing up, you absolutely hated rules. If you're anything like me, you've spent far too many hours worrying. It might be something that you've heard before, but if you're anything like me, it bears repeating. If you look at the meat of his videos, actually a lot of it is describing the struggles we all have together. He continually prioritizes building that trust with you over sounding just perfect or amazing all the time. And then that makes you more open to listening to what this bearded minimalist stranger guy has to say about your life. The second thing that Matt loves doing in his videos and does so well is he creates breaks in the flow of his videos. A house, a Black Friday deal, donuts. Donuts are definitely non-negotiable. He actually interrupts the flow, the pacing of his videos with the music cutting out and random humor, random bloopers, random opinion, so that he can get your attention back, that he can get your curiosity back. Also, if you can't tell, I'm pretty type A, so anything that can add a little bit of type anus to my day, I'm on it. I just said anus, didn't I? Because his videos are so highly produced, they look so much like documentaries and films, it would be easy for us to disconnect as viewers. And when I say disconnect, I mean to become a passive audience that just sits back, relaxes, and watches it just like we watch any other documentary. Disconnected, disengaged from the creator of the documentary or film. But that doesn't actually ever happen in Matt's videos because he always interrupts that feeling, that passive audience feeling you get with random humor, with random asides, with random bloopers that remind you, hey, no, this is YouTube. I'm here with you. I'm talking to you in a more personal, direct, intimate way. 
especially when you sprinkle in Matt's type of humor, this cocktail he's made, this mashup he's made of those highly produced documentaries that make you feel smart and where you always learn something and always look perfect with the relatability, the personal connection, the intimacy of a normal YouTube bedroom talk vlog. It's a really unique blend. It's totally how Matt Duvela has made his mark on this space. And then lastly, Matt's really good at boiling things down into something that's very simple and clear and easy to remember, but that also feels sort of new and fresh. So what's the two-day rule? How has it helped me? And why are rules so effective at helping us change our lives? So what's the backwards law? And what can it tell us about happiness? So what's the three-year rule? And why is it so powerful? It's that thing that they do in every single self-help book where they take something that's pretty simple or obvious or that you've already heard before, but they give it a new name. They make it really fresh and simple and digestible. Like the feel-good effect, the, the six-second rule, the the pull and push principle or something, you know, something like that. This could seem a little cheesy, but it totally works. It really does help you rethink old, important things in a new way. I have to think about this with my videos as well. It doesn't matter how well you analyze stuff or break it down. It doesn't matter as much if you have a great understanding of something, if you've been transformed by something. You need to figure out how to express that so it makes sense for the person listening, so that it's helpful or transformational for the person actually listening. I really admire how expertly Matt's able to explore an idea, let it breathe a little bit, unpack it a little bit. But at the end of his videos, he still boils it down into something that's very clear digestible and memorable. If you're trying to connect with someone, help someone with your story, master communicator isn't someone who always has the best stories, who always has the most dramatic and exciting stories or experiences. A master communicator is someone who has a good ability to command people's curiosity and trust. How do we communicate relatability? How do we build curiosity and how can we share more clarity to the people we care about, to the people who are listening? Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you end up seeing this, thank you, Matt, for your hard work and inspiring us with your storytelling. It was cool chatting with you at VidSummit. If you guys missed it, check out last week's video. It's an in-depth breakdown of YouTube intros, what works with different creators in different contexts and why. Thank you guys so much for everything. You are the change maker of your own life. Let's think more deeply. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Share with a friend if you're feeling generous. See you guys soon. Peace. <laughs> Bye.